I know that there is one plant that connects all Singapore Army soldiers. Let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now we so many plants and animals. If Singapore had a top 10 types of famous trees, then the simple IA would definitely land itself in one of the higher spots. Also known as Delania sofruticosa, these plants are found all around tropical Southeast Asia and is one of the most common species from the Delania genus. Locally, they can be found in almost all of our nature reserves in Singapore and this is due to it being a highly invasive pioneer species. The term pioneer refers to the kinds of species that are first to colonize a previously disturbed or damaged environment. They then provide shade for less hardy plants that cannot withstand the harsh direct sunlight to establish themselves. And from that, a secondary forest forms. One type of secondary forest that is unique to Singapore and also in a few other parts of Southeast Asia is the Adenandra beluga. Now this type of forest supports a much lower diversity of wildlife because its soil is generally more acidic and nutrient poor because the area used to be where intense farming occurred. Now you can find such forests in Kenridge and in the outer edges of the Upper Salita and Upper Pierce Reservoirs. The simple eye, however, is so ubiquitous and robust that they are one of the key species of such Adenandra beluga forests. But to humans, these trees have more value than to just be indicators for poor soil. Before plastic containers became widespread, olden day Singaporeans actually used the large leaves of the simple ayé to wrap up food like tempeh or to use them as shallow cones to hold rice or rojak. Hey and gentlemen, to this day in the Singapore army, the soldiers are being taught during jungle survival that in times of desperation, the young leaves of this tree can be eaten when bought in a soup. Although it's a bit sour ah. And the young leaves of the simple ayé are these smaller ones with a reddish colour. Visually, these leaves are also one of the clear distinguishing features when you're trying to identify this tree. If you haven't noticed by now, apart from being large and toothed, these leaves also have a fold or slit at its base. And if you slowly open this slit up wide, you will notice that it has a leaf bud waiting to grow big and strong. And this leaf fold actually acts as a sheath that protects this bud while it is still developing. With time, this bud would then grow into the reddish tinted young leaf and then finally maturing into its green colour. And then the cycle continues on. Another distinguishable physical trait of the simple eye is... Wow, wow, the flower! Wow, look at the flower, so pretty! He must take photo with flower! <laughs> Okay, but actually, this is the fruit of the simple eye. Because if you look within that pink thing, you can actually see that it has these dark red fleshy seeds, which are eaten by many animals. Instead, the flowers are these fancy five petaled yellow things that actually often point downwards. The simple eye is one of the only few plants in the world that have one day flowers and one day fruits. So these flowers actually bloom in the middle of the night at 3am, way before the sun is up, only to drop off by the end of the day at around 4 to 5pm. Five weeks later, when the fruits are well set and developed, they will once again open up at 3am to reveal those bright red fleshy seeds. Because they are so sought after by animals such as birds like the boobles and sunbirds, squirrels and even monkeys, the fruits will be emptied pretty quickly and the empty husk then falls off the tree at around 8am just the next day. Not only are the fruits desirable, but the flowers and their pollen attract the carpenter bees of the Xylocopa genus. They are pollinators. These bees are one of the largest we have here in Singapore and they are given the carpenter moniker because they burrow in wood instead of making beehives. Although they generally don't sting unless you go and pick them up or stick your hands into their burrows, their size often scare people away because not everyone thinks that bigger is better and not everyone likes it big. But hey, as we covered, the leaves and fruits of the simple eye all play an important ecological role to the humans and wildlife of Singapore. So you know what, maybe it's a good thing to just leave the bees be, let them pollinate the flowers, let them keep our ecosystem thriving. So remember, uh, see bee, leaf. 
And that is all we have for today's episode. If you have any interesting photos or videos of our Singapore wildlife, why don't you send them over to me through my social links and I can feature them in a future video. Don't forget to give the subscribe button a clicky if you want to watch more videos of our Singapore ecology. Thanks for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it's a jungle out there. Woo!